I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, it's rained all day today. I didn't get a chance to get out and do anything with the files. It's just too wet. <laughs> I know, putting in a bucket of sulfuric acid probably wouldn't be bothered by the rain, but I would be. I'd have to stand out there, get soaking wet, and do the whole thing with the camera running. Don't think so. But I did get a chance to go down to Heritage Inn. Spiders. Hate them. I did get a chance to go down to the Heritage Company. And while I was there, I got a chance to talk to Roger. It wasn't a real busy day. Like I always do, I went right to the tool shelves. And I was looking around and I found something that I'd never seen before. This little thing. Now it's got a screwdriver handle, and it's got one of those heavy hex-shaped butt plates on it. So I think it's it's a, probably was a pretty good foot one time, but it also has this odd little thing. And I realized what it was is a screw starter. And it only works with these really tiny screws. But with that little tiny screw, it works like a charm. I haven't seen one of these before. It doesn't have a name on it anywhere. Stamped on the butt, it has 44A9408. The only thing I found on the screwdriver is the word Torrin. T-O-R-R-I-N. The only reference to that that I find on the internet is a small town on the Isle of Skye. Because of the odd size, it's a rather large screwdriver for driving such tiny screws. I think that was more a factor related to the shank size. Somebody needed a certain shank size. And this, this looks like it was made by somebody that knew what they were doing. I think this is a special tool made for an as, some kind of an assembly where they needed to put a screw into a deep place. A screw or a pin or something that they needed to put in. Now it doesn't matter if this thing has a Phillips head or straight bit or Torx or anything else. This works by clamping the screw. So that doesn't give me a hint as to why or how. But it does make me think that this was a special one-off tool made by Toolmaker. This is the kind of thing I used to make for people. They would be assembling small things on the assembly line and I'd end up making some little doohickey like this that made their job better. So I bet this is a one-off. Some machinist, and the look of it, this screwdriver is not something that came from the 60s. It doesn't have plastic handles, it's got wood. And it's got a good wooden handle. I bet it's probably somewhere in the 40s or 30s. In Kalamazoo, there was a company called Checker. They made Checker cabs. Big stamping plant. Built Checker cabs. Bet they probably had something like this in the building. There also was the guitar manufacturer, and there's a lot of industry here in town. So I bet there's a retired machinist that went on to his great reward up in the sky and his toolbox ended up at Heritage Company and now it's in my hands. It's a neat old tool. I cleaned it up a bit, put a little oil in it, made sure it's kept good. I don't think it serves a purpose other than if I need to drive a really, really small screw in a really tight spot. 
but this is cool. So I'm going to hang it on the wall. And we're going to have it here as a memory of somebody who knew what they were doing. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.